In this tip of the day, let's take a look at one CNC, five axis positional flow machining. To begin with, let's turn off the layers that we don't need. In fact, let's just use the layer that the part's on. Now, I've already created two construction planes. I've created a construction plane on this face right here. I've called this side one. And then I also created a construction plane called side two on the other face. Let's begin with side one. So I'm gonna select side one. Let's head over to the command manager, go into our model tool paths, and then we're gonna select our flow machining. All we need to do is just left click the surfaces that we'd like to machine, then right click. Now we're gonna select the edges, and these edges are gonna determine the direction of cut. Once we've done that, we can start to fill in our tool parameters. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds. We're using a 3 16 diameter ball end mill here. Our clearances look great have a step over of 30 thousands, we'll click finish and let one CNC generate the toolpath. Now to apply toolpath to the other side is very simple. All you need to do is select the construction plane that you'd like one CNC to index to and then simply apply your toolpath. Let's go back into our flow machining. Same process, we're just going to select the surfaces that we'd like to machine, right hand click and then select the edges that will determine the direction of cut. We're gonna use the exact same parameters we used previously, so I'm just gonna click Next, Next, and Finish, and let one CNC again generate the toolpath. Now, to preview this, let's turn the rest of our layers back on, and let's head over to the NC Manager, right-click on the toolpath group, and select Preview Toolpaths. Here we see the trunnion indexing, and now we're applying the flow machining operation. Notice how we have a nice constant step over this is gonna yield a very nice surface finish. Once the toolpath is finished, we're gonna wrap it up, index over to the other side, and then apply the exact same machining operation. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.